Yum, yum! Actions are at the heart of animation system in Modo. In fact, any time you change the channel value, it gets stored on an action. There are three predefined actions, and these are setup, scene, and edit. And then you can create a number of user actions as well. Visually speaking, the setup action is at the bottom and it represents your scene in the non-animated or in the in the rest state. This is especially true for um, any uh, rigs that involve the formers. All the animations are stored on the scene action by default, unless you have set up an actor in the scene and created actions for this actor, in which case the animation will be stored on the current action. The edit action is sort of a temporary action and in fact all the changes you do go initially to the edit action and only once you scrub the timeline or apply these changes manually they are getting dropped into the one of the actions below and it could be a user action if there's one selected, it could be a scene action or it could be a setup action. So let's see how this works in practice. When you click the setup button in Modo you're entering the setup mode and all the changes to channels are eventually stored on the setup action. In theory, you should do all your rigging in the setup mode. In practice, Modo does not enforce that, and although most of the time it, it's working fine, sometimes you may uh, run into issues when uh, changes that you wanted to be or should be on the setup are stored um, on, the, on some other actions like the scene action, and that may lead to some incorrect rig behavior. To avoid such issues, make sure that all the channels that you mean to animate have a proper rest value assigned. And you do this by selecting the channels that you um, mean to animate and right clicking on them and choosing assign as a setup rest value. You can always verify what action the current channel values are coming from by looking at the source column in the channel list. Let's take a closer look at that. I'm going to leave the setup and start animating the um, this control and, and have a look at the channel list and see what happens. The two channels that I edited have their edits right now stored on the edit action. So this is the temporary action that sits uh, at the top. Now as soon as I scrub the timeline, so you can see that those two have changed to the scene. So they've been dropped from edit to the scene and that's the that's the automatic way of, of applying those temporary changes uh, to the correct action and Modo does it by itself. But you can do this manually as well and this, this is what those two discard and apply buttons are for. So you, again if I start changing, doing a rotation, again I'm doing the changes on the edit action again and now if I hit this card I can just basically discard equals clearing the edit actions. If I click this card, all of these changes just get reverted. And likewise, if I do some edits and they are on the edit and do apply, they will immediately get dropped to the scene action or to any act, to the proper action that's below. Um, could be a user action as well. And uh, I don't have to scribe a timeline for that. Typically when you are out of setup mode and your character is in the rest pose, and you can see the mesh already being deformed, like so. So when you start animating it looks completely wrong. Um, it usually means that you defined your rest pose for the scene action. It got applied to the scene action instead of the setup. So if I go to setup here, you can see that my actually setup pose is wrong. And the simplest way to fix that is to go out of setup, select the item that has wrong um, values in the setup, and uh, find its channels. So you can see that uh, these are the rotation channels and you can see that these have a, a scene action. The values, the current values are coming from the scene action and they should be from setup if I have no animation applied. Um, so this, the, qu the quickest way to fix the issue is to simply right click here, choose apply to setup press value and that drops the values from the scene into the setup as you can see and it clears the scene. So now those values, the rest values, are coming from setup as they should. Obviously, the channel list source column will show you when the animation is coming from the user action as well. In this case, I have a walk action created for a bolo actor that is created for this character rig. Yum, yum!